Now while we're waiting here, another thing. Now this is from the Big Fair book. Yes. An incident at an early parade, doesn't specify when, involved the company that cleaned up railroad accidents and wrecks. A heavy duty truck, and we're going to see some heavy duty equipment coming up here, folks. A heavy duty truck, almost one half block long, attempted to make the left turn from Washington Street, which is a little north of us, on the main street. And they got stuck between the Mettler fish stand and the game. And it doesn't say how much long, how much time it did. That's a lot of backing and turning, and that had to move the tent. The crowd scattered, and the truck proceeded without further turns. I've been quite to see. That would have been cool. Troxel equipment. They were named Business of the Year a year or two ago by the Wells County Chamber of Commerce. Ten minutes. So if you could drive any big truck, what would it be? Like a tractor, or a bulldozer, or... Okay, combine. Combine? Yeah, they're pretty cool. Did they farm? Did your family farm in any way? No, but one of my good friends growing up, her dad does. Okay, he still does? Yep. Alright, who do we have here? Foxhole equipment. What a cute baby. Yeah, that is a cute baby. I don't know if you can see it, folks, but I'm going to try and zoom. That little boy in the green shirt down there, he had his ears and his fingers in his ears earlier as the horns went blowing. I think you have to get perspective how big those fingers are. That's true. I mean, and this is really honestly why they don't toss candy at this point. And you really won't want someone running in front of that. And if you would have seen how visually Jessica went to grab the candy earlier, <laughs> imagine what a little kid would have done. Push you over the edge, man. Exactly. I almost fell. I know, this is one of the bigger ones. This is one of the bigger ones, indeed. There's a lot of those this year. I don't think they're for sale, though. I could be wrong. Well, I think this screen is the end of Troxel Equipment Company, I think. And we have, who's coming up? Some oil. They're in the west side of town. There's a bee floating around here. Hey, I know. I they, just run away. If I uh, she might run away. So if you see the camera, it's just kind of bounce up and down. I have all of <laughs> A bunch of the same kids are wanting candy earlier, trying to egg on each truck to blow its horn. It really never gets old, no matter how old it gets. It really does. If driving down the interstate, that's just one of the highlights of the trip. Yeah. Trying to see how many mini keep a tally. More Stefan oil? So we have two days of street fair left after this. This is the last parade. So if, what else do you want to do before street fair ends? Your first street fair is in the fall. I'm going to get you on a ride, Justin. That's not going to happen. I can no longer stomach the rides. I'm afraid I've gotten old. But if, so besides the impossible. Maybe eat more fair food. Yeah. Has there anything you haven't had yet? Do you want? Good question. I would ask you what you recommend, but no, 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 if you eat fair very often. Well, you know, I, I gave in earlier. Corn dogs are always good. One of those last night. Oh, there you go. The pretzels are good. Pretzels. That's what I need. I wish I had a pizza buffet. Everything is better with a pizza buffet. Absolutely everything. All right, we have driving by Forest Ridge Tree Service. And don't know if you can see her, but up there, I just happen to know her. In the bucket truck is Amy Ish. Yeah. Amy Ish representing again Forest Tree Ridge or Forest Ridge Tree Service. Mm -hmm. They have pens. You know how often they go to the Oh pens. pens! Oh man. Oh I'm oh man. Okay, next year I'm not doing this parade because I'm missing out on a lot of good free stuff. I know it. Amy! Amy Ish, she is a sweetheart.
So now, would you ever do some lumberjacking while you're juggling your chainsaws? Kind of hard to multitask. Oh, that's a good point. Well, you were an IU student too, so. Wow, you went there too. I went there too. If you're gonna go somewhere though, <laughs> that truck is the one to go. That's in style right there. It's <laughs> big. And in case of emergencies, follow those boys' shirts to the nearest exits. Those are You think they go in the dark? Enough. They are. They kind of look like they would. I think they, that'd be kind of cool. I wonder what they're passing out. So it's the news banner, because I think we have a flow. Why should we pass out? Like free ink, you know, free papers. That would be kind of nice. All right. I have a little bit of a hard time reading this sign, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I and A Innovations, I think it says J and A Innovations LLC. I don't know what they innovate. Oh no, that person with the IU and then they do a good job with the text. Alright, well we're going to get a nice flame war going on Facebook with, between the Ball State and IU. All right, Gerber Lawn Care, Outdoor Concepts, I'm sorry, Outdoor Concepts, passing us. Really early for a snowplow. Yeah. You think they don't have an idea of what the outdoor is like. You wonder why they need a concept of it. I mean, ooh, more lawnmowers. I hope they do tricks. More synchronized tractor driving. That would be... Oh, they're passing out candy, too. I think we're getting chips up here. We are. We really should we talk to that. We should talk to Mark, have him reimburse us. <laughs> oh, we just had a candy piece down below us. Outdoor concepts. Steve Gerber. Oh, and more cute kids. Still outdoor concepts. All right, there you go. Ah, uh, the age when you can enjoy street fair without any reservations. What a time that was. That'll die as soon as they have to drive through it. I wasn't their age, I don't think, when I started coming here. I was a little older, but I remember it being much bigger. Yeah. Smaller. That makes, what, do you remember what your first memory was? I don't remember. You don't? No. I still have a stuffed Spider-Man from a street fair game. <laughs> wow, that's impressive.